Hey guys, welcome back to Kara's Cakes. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from me. This week, I'm gonna be making cake sickles. I found some molds on Amazon and some chocolate and I ordered those and they're finally here so we're gonna go ahead and make those. And I know that they've been around for a while and I'm probably a little bit late to the game, but I found some molds online. We're gonna go ahead and try it so I'll bring you along with how it works out. So I found these on Amazon. So it comes with two of the molds. It also came with the popsicle sticks and some bags if you wanted to individually wrap them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash these. Okay, so I have the molds all ready to go. And this is the chocolate I'm using today. I just got it on Amazon. I've never used it before. It seems pretty good. And then I have some cookies and cream buttercream left from a cake I had yesterday and Funfetti cupcakes. And I know that's a weird combination, but we're just gonna have Funfetti cookies and cream cakesicles. From all the videos that I've watched, you basically make a couple layers of chocolate in each one of these, mix up your cake and buttercream in a bowl, and then you're gonna squish them in and cover the top with chocolate. So I also have some sprinkles, Oreo crumbs, and a couple Oreos left to use for decoration on the top. I put some chocolate in this bowl and put it in the microwave for 30 second intervals until it was melted. I did add a little bit of this white, white icing color to make it a little less yellow. That step definitely isn't necessary, but I'm gonna use this spoon to spoon it in. You could probably use a pastry brush or something. I just don't want the bristles to get stuck in here at all. So I definitely let the chocolate cool down too much. So I'm gonna pop it back in the microwave and melt it down a little bit. As you can see, it's melted a little more. It looks a little nicer. So we're gonna go ahead and try again. So I made a little bit of a mess. And as you can see, the first two where the chocolate wasn't warm enough, are not looking great, but then they get better as they go. So I'm gonna let those set, and I'm gonna move on to crumbling up some cake and buttercream in a bowl and making like, almost like a cake pop. Okay, so I've added some buttercream in and I've smushed it together and as you can see, it forms a little ball and stays together, so that is the consistency you want. It is a weird color because of the cookies and cream and the fun buddy, but it smells so good. So I'm going to wait for these to cool. I might pop them in the fridge for a few minutes, and then we're gonna put these on top and add the chocolate topping. Okay, so I'm going to take little balls and put it in here. I'm just kind of guessing how much, but you want to leave enough room at the top for there to be chocolate covering the whole thing. Okay, now that I have all the cake batter squished in, I'm gonna melt down a little bit more chocolate and cover the tops. All right, so I'm unsure when I'm supposed to put these popsicle sticks in, but I think I'm gonna put them in right now. So if you put your popsicle sticks in now, it kind of lets you add more cake batter in if you have to. So these cake pops are looking pretty gray, but you don't have to put cookies and cream buttercream in, obviously. I'm just using what I have. So I have some more melted chocolate. I'm gonna pop on the top. So just cover all the edges, and then if you do have some overlap, I think it's easy to cut that off after. Mm -hmm. 
So they're all covered and I'm just gonna let them set for a little bit before I pop them into the molds. All right, so the cakesicles have hardened and I'm gonna try and take them out of the molds. And hopefully this won't be a fail. Turned out really cute. Oh my God, they're cute. on the end actually turned out really good so I'm gonna go get a sharp knife and like kind of chop off all the excess and then I'm gonna go ahead and melt down some chocolate and use the sprinkles and stuff to decorate I'm really really impressed with how smooth they came out and I melted down some chocolate I'm gonna get that in a piping bag, drizzle that over the top, and then add on some toppings. All right, I finished the cake sickles, and I think I'm gonna make more. Really good. So I think I'm gonna clean up a little, do some dishes, and then I'm gonna make more of different colors. Yeah, I'm back, it is many hours later. You may think, Kara, you look tired. Were you just asleep? Yes, I was asleep. Hi, Chip. <laughs> I was asleep, I took a nap, and before the nap, I went to Home Depot and I had to deliver a cake. So I'm back. I'm gonna make more cake sickles because it was so fun the first time. And I'm not being sarcastic, it was actually fun. So here's how my other ones turned out. They're so cute and little. I don't know if, I'm assuming you could probably get bigger ones. When I see these online, I just assume they're really big, but maybe I just bought mini ones. Anyways, I'm gonna melt some more white chocolate down. We're gonna make some pink ones this time. We're gonna make pink ones. Okay, let's go. So it's really important that when you put your chocolate in the microwave, you only put it in for 30 second intervals because any more than that, you could risk burning the chocolate, it would get clumpy, and then you would have to throw it away. So I've so far done four 30 second intervals and it's not quite melted, but I'm gonna mix it up and show you. The chocolate is all melted here and I wanna color it pink. I have this rose color by Wilton. ones turned out okay but I put the stick in at the wrong time so as you can see like it's a little bit loose where the stick is if this happens it's not ruined you can just take a little bit of um, chocolate in a piping bag and pipe into the, the little hole there and you can fix it easily um, so I'm gonna melt some more chocolate and put some decoration on the top
All right, guys, so that's everything for today's video. Hope you enjoyed me making these cake sickles. And um, the pink ones turned out a lot cuter than the other ones. Um, I'm gonna insert some pictures here of what they look like in the daylight tomorrow um, because it is dark out and I can't really take any nice pictures. So um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, scroll down, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from me. Thank you so much for watching.